Hi friends, first of all my deepest apologies because I was away since like last two weeks but that was because of a special reason that I got married. But now I am back with a special video for you guys. As many of you were asking me how to get rid of back to the lobby problem in Fortnite. So here I am giving you a quick solution as well as giving you a demo of the gameplay so that you can be fully assured that it works. Hi this is Ankit and you are watching absolutely techy. Stay tuned after the intro for more information. Hi guys, welcome back. So first of all, I would like to request you to watch this video completely to understand the full procedure. Else it will not work even if you miss a small step. So this is a seven step process and we'll go through it one by one. So it's Redmi Note 5 Pro running on Android 8 Oreo and having 4 GB RAM and 64 GB internal storage. So now step number one, your mobile must be rooted with Magisk. So here you can see I have already rooted my mobile and Magisk is installed. So I'll quickly open it and there you can see it's already up to date Magisk as well as the Magisk manager. So if you have not rooted your device till now, please do so. Also the routing procedure changes from mobile to mobile. So you have to search it for your device specifically on XD or on web. Now step number 2. Install the latest Fortnite APK. So there you can see the Fortnite APK is already present for me. And we'll quickly install it. But you don't worry, I'll give all the links in the description below. So here we are installing it. So let's wait for it to get installed. And this MI device is doing some scanning. So now let's open it. So here sadly it says device is not supported. But you don't have to worry about it as this was already expected. I'll give you the solution for the same. Step number 3. Install GL tools. So this is a tool for tweaking the graphics library as well as spoofing your hardware as a better and latest one. So we'll quickly install it. So there it's present. We'll install it. And again some scanning. So here you can see it's there and we'll agree to all the terms and conditions. And here the thing to be noted is you have to click install but not install using recovery or install using Magisk systemless. You have to click install. So I have clicked it. Sometimes it takes a bit of more time to contact your SU binary and ask for root permissions. But suppose it does not work. You have to again exit this app and go to Magisk Manager once to see everything is okay. And we'll go to see if the super user access is there and it's on prompt. So everything looks okay. We'll exit it and again we'll try to open the GL tools. Again we'll do the same thing and click install. And there you go guys. You can see it's asking for permission. I have given my fingerprint. So now you can see it's installed. So it will do all the necessary things and restart. So here you can see the restart is also happening. This means it is correctly installed. Now we'll wait for the device to get restarted. So here it's restarted now. Now we will quickly go to the GL tools and open our app. Fortnite. So here Fortnite is there and we'll click enable custom settings for this app and here we need to use fix GPU info and if you want to fix CPU or RAM also you need to select that and in templates we have to select Adreno 5. So here the configurations are done. Step number 4. So we have to quickly go to the settings and make sure USB debugging is disabled. So here I need to go to additional settings in MI 
and developer options is enabled so we have to go down and make sure that usb debugging is disabled so here it's disabled i'll disable developer options also now step number five we have to go to file manager and install a build prop editor so this link also i'll give in the description below you don't have to worry so we'll install this build prop editor so here it's installed and we'll wait for this scanning to get completed and we'll open it so here it's open and you can see all the build properties are available so now we have to edit specific set of properties so we'll search first for auto dot product dot brand that is auto dot product dot brand so here we need to change it to samsung and we have to click save again the next property is ro dot product dot manufacturer so here again we have to change it to samsung and save next property is ro dot build dot product so there the first one is there so ro dot build dot product so we'll change it to star lte so this we are doing just to make sure that our device is recognized as a verified and supported device next we have to change it ro dot product dot device so here we have to change it to again star lte click save next property we have to change is ro dot product dot model this again we have to change it to samsung galaxy note 9 so that number is sm hyphen g 960 f i'll give all the details in the description below you have to use same casings click save next property we have to change is ro dot product dot name this is the last property and this we have to change to star lte xx xx and then we'll save it so here in order to confirm that everything is there we need to click pencil button and there you can see all the changes are getting reflected smg 960f samsung star lte xx now we need to click save you heard this notification came that it's saved so all the things are saved now now we have to reboot our device to make sure the changes are reflected i'll quickly fast forward it just to save some time now one of the most important step again we have to open magisk and go to settings and go below and make sure that magisk core only mode is enabled as well as magisk hide is enabled so we'll enable both of these everything else looks okay now again we have to go to magisk first option to make sure that magisk hide is enabled now magisk hide is shown and now we have to enable magisk hide for all those apps which uses root so build prop fortnite and gl tools are right now using root so we'll enable magisk hide for all these three so now most of the setup is 90 percent done now last step we'll open our fortnite app and fingers crossed let's see if the device check is bypassed and there you go guys you can see the downloading is now starting up so there the downloading has started it needs some 3 GB of data so till this point everything is working fine thumbs up now I'll quickly fast forward it to make sure that some time is saved and everything works well so now it's verifying and now the optimization of the content is happening as it's a big game it might take a bit of time so i'll keep on putting it in fast forward mode so that time can be saved so now the fortnite is loading
so till now everything looks okay i'll quickly do my sign in so now the login is happening till now everything looks okay i'll do all the checks and accept and i have started the match match making is done now the game is about to be started so the game has started it's waiting for players till that time i'll gather some of the resources okay so this gun is there let's get it some other materials we'll catch it okay till now the game is running okay no problems at all okay we'll wait for the battle bus to start okay so battle bus will be launching in few seconds now till now it looks all okay so here the battle bus is there and fingers crossed let's wait for it to jump and there you go guys i have jumped and i did not get back to the lobby yes mission accomplished still i'll show you some of the gameplay so that you guys can make sure that this trick works so i'll get down and spend some time so that you guys can be assured that later on also the kicking is not happening Okay. So I've landed successfully. And I'll spend some time here. So I'll just roam around here and there for some time. So let's break it up. So the game is running so smooth. So I'll do some free roam here and there just to pass some time. Okay, so game is running very smooth. So you guys can see that my device is actually not supported. Still I'm able to play. Thumbs up for the trick. So I'll quit the match. so let's leave it so my main intention was just to show that this trick works i can land in the match and play as expected even if my device is not supported so i will go back to my main menu so the main things to note here is first in magic manager you need to make sure that magic hide is enabled and in the settings you have to make sure that magic core only mode as well as magic hide is enabled and the second thing is in your settings you have to make sure that usb debugging is disabled so here you can see the usb debugging is disabled so enjoy guys and long live fortnite If you appreciate my efforts please hit the like button and give me a visit on the pillow platforms thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace